Yeah, normally, I don't do reaction videos anymore unless I really want to, unless it's something that really catches my eye, catches my interest, piques my interest and all of that. Um, But I seen something on, uh, I was on Instagram this morning and I was scrolling. I seen my son post something about this little dude, uh, 345 Lil RT, whatever his name is, and Shorty just... Rapping how all of these young dudes rap. They ain't six years old, though. I seen the clip on his page, and it, it just was... It was troubling to my soul to hear the youngins, hear that young brother speak so much death, speak so much uh, derogatory language towards young women. And I, I don't even think Shorty even realized what he doing. He just doing with his... Uh, People who's supposed to guide him down the right path and, and get him away from this, they just pushing him into the fire. It's I can't blame him. I blame the people around him. I blame his parents. You putting destruction on the kids, and then you etching that into their brains. Is that a word? I think that's how they're supposed to be. You robbing them of their childhood. Like anyway, this is uh sixty miles. 345, little RT. I don't condone this shit, but hey, let's go, man. Hold up, let me turn y'all up. First line, he say, if you ain't sucking dick, you can get the fuck up by my shit. He don't even know what getting his dick sucked is. Why? Who, who wrote that for him? He don't even know what that is, man. If he do, he ain't had it done yet. If she ain't sucking dick, get the fuck up out my sh Why he ain't talking about sandbox? <laughs> sandbox. You stupid. Box, sandbox. What's that? Dry pussy. I know. I, I heard myself say it, and I thought about it after I said it. Like, yeah, but why he ain't talking about playgrounds, monkey bars, sliding boards, and all of that? Things six-year-olds do. Why he ain't talking about his time in the first grade? Why he ain't talking about lunch? Why he ain't talking about getting his dick sucked at six? Shorty don't even know what that is, man. Hit him with the Glock, take him down. Shorty can't even control a gun. He out there talking. You like what? And then he got. Three goofy ass niggas standing behind him. It looked like they appeared to be in some project. You feel me? Goofy ass motherfuckers around him condoning this shit. Shoot little bro in his face, put him in the ground. See what he's speaking? Is this what we want the kids to be doing? You, you see what he's speaking into? Like, this is manifestation. Shorty could probably grow up to end up killing some fucking body because he's putting all this demonic shit, all of this hate. Like, he is, they, they, it's pushing hate towards people that look like you at an early age. So you be like, yo, fuck them niggas, fuck the ops. All black people ain't your ops. And we thinking this shit is cool. He in the fucking video, got money, but you talking about all his death. And then as soon as you say shoot him in his fucking face, we gonna put him, put him in the ground. You go right to disrespecting black women, talking about she gonna suck the dick. What, after you just kill somebody? Like, come on, man, we gotta fucking do better. <laughs> He 
always it, 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 he's repeating the same shit. Hit him with the Glock. I'm gonna take him down. She gonna suck the dick. Hit him with the Glock. Take him down. Put him in the ground. She gonna suck the dick. Lord Shorty can barely even speak yet, man. He can't even like really talk all the way good and proper yet. You got him talking all this deaf shit. He don't even know what the fuck he talking about. These lame-ass niggas standing behind them condoning this shit, man. Push the babies to be better. Fuck-ass niggas, man. You ruining the fucking babies. Teaching them all this dumb-ass shit. Put that money in his hand, but you still stay in the project building. You glorifying money, but you still live in the fucking projects. Don't know the importance of money. Don't know how to uh, generate more legal money. You're teaching them all street shit. Street shit and in jail or death. Never success. I hope sure they get the fuck away from these people. Big look up. Try like he okay. Bitch, I got the Glock up on my side. And he turn the mud. Clap him in the lane and make him dry. Bitch, I'm in the sun. Bitch, I'm in the deep. Keep on talking. Bitch, I'm in the sun. Bitch, I throw a bullet out there. Bitch, I'm in your fucking face. And that big ass sweet on my Glock. Hit him in the cage. That big ass glee. Tend him in the face. She suck it in. It's like every fucking line he talked about, every line he started off with, bitch, 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 I'm this, bitch, I'm that, 100 rounds, Glock got a switch on it, and y'all think this shit is cool, three grown ass men standing behind him thinking this shit is cool. If you want to ruin your life, you want to go out, go out here in the streets, you want to talk this type of shit, you want to actually go out here and live it, go ahead, by all means, go out here and get your own grown, dumbass self killed. Go ahead and get your top bust off, you feel me? Pause. Go ahead and go get yourself hit with the switch, you feel me? Go ahead and ruin your life and go kill another black man, you feel me? And then go to fucking jail for 100 years that the white man going to give you. But you're not fighting your real oppressor. You fighting each other in this fucking dirty-ass project building's 10-minute Ten minutes, however the fuck you pronounce the word, you feel me? You putting all this death and oppression on your own fucking people, and then you passing it down to the youngest. And he's speaking some shit that I'm pretty sure he don't even know what the fuck is about. I'm pretty sure he ain't never seen a dead body. I'm pretty sure Shorty ain't never really busted Glock. I'm pretty sure he don't even probably fully understand his circumstances and the surroundings around him of why life is the way it is. He don't know none of that. You robbing him of being a kid. I feel shorty for, I feel sorry for Shorty when he turned about 12, 13, because he's going to be worse. If this the path that he's going down now, the shit that he's speaking now, the things that this, his elders and, and adults in his life is allowing him to do and speak of now, imagine when he get older. I'd have got my whole face slapped off if I'd have been talking like this at six years old. You feel me? I was a teenager, and around my elders, I couldn't fucking talk like this, even though I don't see his aunts and no uncles as the fuck I was like. But one of these dudes probably is his uncle or his big brother. I don't know. Come on, man. Absolutely shameful. Shit was trash. Shorty can't rap. Whoever wrote it, fuck you. Fuck your mama too because she raised you wrong. Fuck everybody in the video. The three dudes who standing in the background. Y'all some clowns. 
You're destroying the black neighborhood. You're not doing anything conducive for the youth or the people to try to change the situation. You cool with it. If you still stuck on the dumb shit, if you still with calling your black people ops, you still with just like senselessly murdering other black people, fuck you. Straight like that. Get off the dumb shit and you passing it down to the kids. Fuck you and everything you stand for. You a lame. You ain't no real gangster. You ain't no G. You a bitch for real. If you doing this and you passing it down to the kids, yeah, you a bitch. A whole bitch ass nigga. Everybody with you. Everybody with you. You feel me? We need to get off this shit, man. We ain't doing nothing for our people. Everybody else thriving and progressing. They teaching their kids about money, investments, banking, agriculture, farming, and all this type of shit. We fucking teaching our kids about 30s on the Glock and switches and dumbass shit and getting hair from bitches. 